love you, Sophia. I will always love you. I love you, Sophia. I will always love you. Sorry, sir. Laura, sorry just doesn't cut it. Sorry doesn't change the situation. I understand. I need you to step it up, take action. You know, this job's a privilege for someone like you, a woman, no education. You're replaceable. So when I tell you I need a double shot, no foam, soy latte, extra hot, I expect to see results. Got it? Got it. I'll show him. He's real good. Mm -hmm. People that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's stick. It's just <gasps> Mommy! Mommy, 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 look at my picture! Oh my god, Talia! Shut up! Just shut up! I can't take it anymore! I just can't deal with you anymore! The love of God's okay, you're just so annoying! You know, you don't have to listen to her. You're not being annoying, you're just being a kid. What do you know? Just don't talk to me. You never know, dear, how much I love you. So don't take my sunshine away. Great. Thank you, Sophia. I'll post the selections in about an hour on the Hall Bulletin. Sophia. You're too old for that. Get up. Sophia, what is this? C in English? C in math? No ways? How the hell do you get a C in English? Who gets a C in English? Your native language, that's an easy A. Dad, the teacher is boring. I don't even like school. Why do I have to go? Because, Sophia, that's what people do. They go to school, they get into college, they get a job, and they make money. What do I need money for? I want to make stories and share them, not take classes I don't like. Sophia, come on, get your head out of the clouds. You can't make stories for a living. But it makes me happy. Happy? Yeah, okay. All right, Sophia, it's time you know the truth. Happiness doesn't exist. It's just a fairy tale. Think about your future and try harder in school. But I... <laughs> no but, go to your room. <sighs> your dad's right, you know. There's no fairy tales in life. But I feel like I'm meant to tell stories. But you don't even know how to write, draw, or create stories. Well, because you do bad in school, and you don't do it the right way. Why don't you do what everyone else does, and do what your parents and teachers tell you to do? Then at least you won't fail. Yeah. I told you you can't do it. You can't write. You have no interesting ideas. You think you could ever just shut the hell up? Leave me alone. Nope. I can't. <laughs> yeah, right. 
You think you stand a chance with that guy? He'll smell the desperation on you right away. You're not even pretty. Mediocre to say the least. You have no interesting ideas. Just face it. You're gonna be alone forever. Leave me alone. I hate you. Just leave me alone. just saying that because he wants to get into your pants. He doesn't actually want you. You don't actually look beautiful. So what do you do? Other than, you know, pick up hot guys on the beach. Uh, I, um, I don't know. I, I like a lot of things. I like to write. You think you're a writer? What have you written? Nothing. Really? I like writing, too. Yeah? Yeah. I have um, I've a bit of a confession, actually. I, I, I enjoy poetry. I actually have a, I have a book of poetry I've written. Writing's my meditation. I know that sounds kind of weird since I'm a dude or whatever, but um, I really try to embrace that side of myself. That's really impressive. And it's not weird at all. It's actually quite endearing. What do you write? She doesn't write anything. So sorry, Andy, but Sophia forgot to mention that she has no talent, no stories, and no interesting ideas. Well, I don't really write anything anymore. Um, I used to want to be a storyteller, but then life happens. I think that life has a way of testing us. If you have a dream, you should chase it. Don't let him fool you, Sophia. You know if you follow your dreams, you will end up with no money. Be realistic, Sophia, come on. It's not like I was a professional writer or anything anyway, so. <laughs> Cooking. I like to cook. Oh my god, what do you cook? Great, now he's gonna ask you what type of cuisine you specialize in. What are you gonna say? I can microwave frozen dinners. Shut up! What are you even doing here? Leave me alone. Are you okay? Sorry, Andy, I didn't mean you. I just have all these thoughts in my head. I was just trying to get rid of Believe me. I, I understand. He thinks you're crazy. You better just leave him before he finds out who you truly are and you end up hurt and rejected. You're unlovable, Sophia. I'm sorry, Candy. I have to go. Um. Uh, God, if you exist, um, please hear my prayer. I am lost. I'm sad all the time. I hate myself. I hate my life. And I don't know what to do anymore. Help me find happiness. What's your name? Sophia. I am Sybil, but of course you know who I am. No, I don't. Um, I actually haven't read this book. I was just curious about the title. See, I know. Can I ask you a personal question? Of course. Why did you write this book? For so many years, I was rejecting who I really was. I tried so hard to be perfect, to be what everyone else wanted me to be. I lost myself, 
and I lost my joy trying so hard to be somebody I wasn't. And then one day, I decided that I was tired of the pain and emptiness of pretending to be someone I wasn't. And then I discovered something. Do you know what it was? A best friend. A best friend? See? A best friend that I had lost early in childhood. A, a part of me that I didn't like, I, I started to like it and it changed everything. Do you know when you reject something about yourself or anything in your life, it comes back because it wants your attention. It will do anything, even if it means hurting or destroying you. When I change that, it just wants our acknowledgement. Never thought about it like that. So, why did I write this book? I love to tell stories. So I wrote my story. It is a genuine happiness. It is something I can do that I don't need to be paid to do. Writing is my love, and that is enough to pursue something with integral determination. You think just because you got a temporary fix of inspiration, you can write a book? Sybil doesn't know you. It comes back because it wants your attention. It will do anything, even if it means hurting or destroying you. Sophia, I'm sorry. I guess I pushed you away a long time ago because I didn't know that you are me and I wouldn't have it any other way. You've always been by my side. Thank you for that. Thank you. You know I've always loved you, right? I know. And I'm grateful for it. I guess I thought I needed to get rid of you in order to be a writer, but you're exactly what I needed to be the writer I was destined to be. You pushed me into the deep. Now I really have something to write about. I love you, Sophia. I will always love you. I love you, Sophia. I will always love you. Thank you for loving me. You know I'll always be here. And I've always been rooting for your win. I love you, Sophia. I always will. What do you say? Should we write a book? Absolutely. That's <laughs> not how you spell that. <laughs> Andy. Hey, stranger. So I read your book. Yeah. I must say, it was beautifully written. Very raw. Thank you. You know, I really liked you. I felt we had a connection. I really liked you too, Andy. It's just sad. I know. I know. Um, yeah, at first I, I thought maybe I did something wrong, but after reading your book, you know, it was, um, it was good to know that it wasn't me. No, not at all. I, uh, I just thought you were gonna eventually think I was crazy and run away. Well, I did think that. But aren't we all a little bit crazy? <laughs> Do you want to go out and grab a cup of coffee with me sometime? Mm, yes, I would like that. Very much. Well, then I will give you a call.
Can't listen to the doubt dragging around my soul Down every dead end midnight road Gotta choose to hold on to the truth I know So bring on the fire